The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this problem, we're asked to evaluate b times parentheses c minus a, given the same values for a, b, and c that we used in the previous example. Notice that we have a set of parentheses in our original problem. And remember from the previous example that we use parentheses when we substitute our numbers into the problem. So to avoid the confusion of having too many sets of parentheses, let's change the parentheses in our original problem to brackets as we substitute. And brackets look like this. Now we can continue just like we did the previous example. b is 5, so we substitute a 5 in for b. Bring down your bracket. c is negative 6, so we plug in a negative 6 for c. Bring down the minus. a is negative 2. Plug in a negative 2 for a bring down the bracket, and now we're ready to simplify the problem. Since the parentheses in your original problem were replaced by brackets, and parentheses come first in your order of operations, in our problem the brackets are going to come first in our order of operations. So the first thing we do here is simplify negative 6 minus a negative 2, which can be thought of as negative 6 plus positive 2 and that simplifies to negative 4. We have a 5 outside our brackets which multiplies times a negative 4 to give us negative 20 for our answer. <laughs> 